Hello, this is Kevin Knebel, and thank you for taking a few minutes out of your busy day to watch this Schleiky Media webinar series on strategically adding LinkedIn connections. Um, just a little bit about me. I'm an international speaker and author on this subject. I typically speak all over the United States and internationally on a weekly basis on how to blend old school networking sales and relationship building skills with new school technology platforms such as LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. And I've been very blessed over the years to help my clients generate millions and millions of dollars in increased revenue, open up all kinds of strategic alliances, client relationships, and networking partnerships. So we're going to run into this uh, real fast. Uh, we're going to do about maybe 10, 15 minutes on, on this particular subject, but understand we could go much deeper. It's very common for me to deliver anything from one hour to full day uh, boot camps and training programs on this exact subject. So we're looking at LinkedIn right now, and one of the things about LinkedIn is um, learning LinkedIn by watching PowerPoint slides is probably the most ineffective way to do it. Just like if you were going to learn how to ride a bike, you probably wouldn't want to learn how to ride a bike by looking at a bunch of PowerPoint slides. You'd want to get on the bike. So we're going to get on the bike here. Right now, you're looking at my LinkedIn homepage. So let's talk about strategically adding connections. When I go to my LinkedIn homepage, and I put my cursor over the word network, and I look down here to where it says Add Connections, I'm going to click on Add Connections. Now, I'm going to say a couple things in this brief webinar that are very broad. So understand if you were a social selling and relationship marketing coaching client of mine, I could write you a very detailed, specific prescription just like a doctor would. But because we're on a large webinar being viewed by many, many people right now, take what I'm about to say and understand that it may or may not in every situation apply to you. I'm making broad generalizations here. I'm going to suggest that in a more and more interconnected, over-caffeinated, hyper-competitive, Mach 5 with your receding hairline on fire, Crackberry, Blackberry type world, you cannot be connected to too many people. You can always unconnect from the weird people and the creepers and the stalker for stalkers and all that kind of stuff. But nowadays, you really never know where your next lead, your next prospect, your next client, referral source, spouse, whatever. You never know where these people are going to come from. So we have tools at our disposal now, such as LinkedIn, that we couldn't have imagined 20 or 30 years ago. So LinkedIn enables you to integrate your existing email accounts. So I'm going to suggest, let's say you have an Outlook account or a Gmail account or any of these different email platforms or more. I'm going to suggest that if you have an Outlook account, you click on this button, and you're basically giving LinkedIn permission to reconcile all of the people, all of the 280 million LinkedIn users worldwide, all of the email addresses associated with those 280 million email uh, LinkedIn accounts, it's going to reconcile that with all of the email addresses in your Outlook address book. This is a great time saver because if you were to go into LinkedIn and start in the A's and start typing in the names of the people in your iPhone or in your contact relationship management system, this could take you about 20 lifetimes. Forget about about it, as they say in Jersey. So this is going to save you a lot of time. I'm going to suggest you do this with Gmail, with Outlook, or whatever email provider you use. And if you use a tool, a, a CRM, a customer or client relationship management tool, such as Salesforce, Goldmine, Act, Redtail, or any of a number of other CRM systems, LinkedIn will allow you to upload those contact files. So you can actually export from, let's say, Salesforce your contact database, first name, last name, email address, into an Excel spreadsheet, and you can upload that into LinkedIn, again, saving you the time of having to go in here and do this all manually. So once you identify the people that you know, I'm going to strongly suggest that you connect with as many people as you possibly can with the goal, this, again, the stated goal being that you cannot connect to too many people because you never know where your next lead prospect or whoever is going to come from. So I'm going to strongly suggest you connect with a lot of people. 
except you probably don't have a strategic reason to connect with your direct competitors because you probably wouldn't hand them your Rolodex, and you probably don't have a strategic reason to connect with ex-spouses. Now, the ex-spouses is just a joke. So other than ex-spouses and direct competitors, I would strongly suggest you connect with as many people as you can because when you learn some of the ways that I teach in my social selling and relationship marketing systems, you will see how to convert those people into clients, um, referral sources, networking partners without ever being perceived as stalker, a stalker, creepy, slick, or anything like that. It's not about, hey, let's get everybody we can on LinkedIn connected to us so we can spam the crap out of them and become annoying. That is not the goal at all. The goal is to become a value generator, which is a term I use in my book quite frequently, positioning yourself as somebody who stays in touch in a way that always adds value without ever being perceived as a stalker or a spammer or intrusive. So this is one way to do this with email, but there's another way to do this that a lot of people don't really know and don't take advantage of. When I put my cursor over the word network and I go to find alumni, because I recommend that you put all of the schools that you've ever gone to in your LinkedIn profile, including high school, watch one way that I could use this. LinkedIn knows where I went to school because I put in my LinkedIn profile where I went to school. So I'm going to click on Montclair State University. I went to Montclair State University in Montclair, New Jersey from 1989 to 1990. So when I clicked on that, LinkedIn resorted all 280 million people worldwide to find anybody that has Montclair State University in their profile. And it even went one step further. It actually looked for the people that went to Montclair State University the same time I did. If I wanted to change these years, I could do it very, very easily. So now it's telling me that of the 280 million people on LinkedIn worldwide, there are 3,528 people on LinkedIn who went to Montclair State University at the same time that I did. This could be very, very valuable information if you're in sales, if you're in professional relationship management, and, or any of a number of different professions. So here I can see that of those 3528 people, 3462 of them are in the United States. If I hit the See More button, I can break it down by major metropolitan areas. So if I want to see where these people live or the type of work where they work or the type of work they do or what they studied in college, what they're skilled at, or how we're connected. This is an incredibly powerful tool. Now, I live 50 miles south of Denver and 20 miles north of Colorado Springs. Just for the sake of example in this brief webinar, let's say I wanted to find the people that went to Montclair State University the same time I did in the greater Denver area. Well, if I scroll down here, I come to greater Denver, and it says 12. So I'm going to click on Greater Denver, and it's going to resort just to those 12 people. So now I will see 12 people. I will see where they currently work, the type of work they do, what they studied in college, what, they're, what they've been skilled at, and how I'm connected. And I can actually see the actual 12 people. This is if you're looking at this and you're saying, hey, this is kind of cool. No, this is not kind of cool. You know, a, an ice cream cone or a slice of pizza is kind of cool. This is mind-boggling. We have at our fingertips now tools that will enable us to build, develop, and enrich relationships at a level that we could not have dreamt of 20 or 30 years ago. So again, let me just reemphasize the point that this is not about stalking. This is not about being a, a pain in the neck or, or spamming people. This is about identifying the people that we want to do business with, refer business to, or have business referred to us by in a way that's very, very high touch. I, so I've identified 12 people. Let me just click on one of them for the sake of argument. I can see what the heck is that. Sometimes LinkedIn's code gets a little bit weird. I don't know why that's showing up. Let's try one other one here just for the sake of argument. 
That's just not working today. This is this is the challenge that sometimes you have when you don't use PowerPoint slides. When you actually get on the bike, sometimes it gets a little weird. But what I was going to show you there is that I could actually open up their profile and see who I know that knows this person to get a warm introduction. And perhaps on a future Schweiky Media webinar series video, I'll show how to strategically connect with these people in a way that's never intrusive or spammy or weird. So for the purposes of today's webinar, let's recap. What we did is we went to network, we added connections based on email addresses, and also on CRM, uploading your contacts. And we also went into the Find Alumni feature to find the people that we went to school with, regardless of what, whether it was a college or it was some type of a certification program or whether it was your high school. And now we have at our fingertips the ability to build, enhance, enrich, develop, and maintain these relationships. And in a more and more interconnected world, this is one of the most important skills you could ever have. Listen very closely to the way I just worded that. I didn't say your social media skills are the most important skills you can have. The most important skill you can have is the people skill and the ability to develop relationships. It's not just about social media. It's not just about having 5,000 likes on your Facebook page and 50 million connections on LinkedIn. That's all well and good. The question is, what are you going to do with that? How are you going to add value to people? So if you go to my website, kevinkanebel.com, could I please get another vowel? It really looks like it needs another vowel. If you want to sign up for my newsletter, my free biweekly newsletter, if you want to follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, if you want to communicate with me, if you want to watch my YouTube videos, and if I can ever help you in any way, I'm extending my hand in friendship and saying, I challenge you to take me up on my offer. If I can add value to you in some way, I'm happy to do it. Just reach out, let me know if I could help you with any of this or in any ways in terms of leveraging old school, high touch networking, relationship building and sales skills, combining those with new school social media platforms such as LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter. Again, I've helped my clients generate millions and millions and millions of dollars in increased revenue and referrals and I'd love to have the opportunity to do the same for you. I want to say thank you so much for taking a couple of minutes out of your busy day to participate in the Schweiky Media webinar series. I look forward to seeing you and communicating with you on other Schweiky Media webinar series videos. And again, if I could ever help you in any way, please feel free to reach out to me. I hope you have a great day, and I'll catch up with you a little bit down the road.